When we talk about winter cycling, we talk about the cold, about darkness, about discomfort. But there's also a very different side to cycling in the winter. My name is Markus Stitz. I live in Edinburgh since 2009. I cycled around the world on a single speed bike. Now I'm a freelance filmmaker and I develop cycling routes. And for me, cycling is part of my everyday fabric. I try to cycle everywhere in town, in any season, in any weather. For me, cycling is really an extension of my personal freedom. It gets me to places. I'm Mark Beaumont. I have cycled around the world a couple of times. Um, Record breaking, trying to go fast has always been a passion of mine. I guess there was that kid that never grew up and just wanted to try and uh, get in the Guinness Book of Records. But I spend as much of my time going on adventures, going gravel biking, going fell running. And uh, I'm lucky enough to live in Edinburgh in Scotland, which is a pretty amazing launch pad for adventures. I was introduced to winter cycling in 2010 when I cycled home from Edinburgh to my parents' place for Christmas for the first time. And it was the last year I remember where there was loads of snow here in Edinburgh as well. And while the journey was pretty tough at times, it also really introduced me to the joys of cycling in winter, of cycling in the snow. And ever since then, I get my bike ready for winter and then I try to go out as much as I can and really enjoy the elements. There's definitely a kid inside me that loves ending up in quite tricky places and just creating those memories through, you know, big night rides or being out in the snow, seeing quite familiar landscapes but in a completely unfamiliar way. The nice thing about winter cycling, it's not about long rides, it's about short rides and it's not about beating your personal best. I often think as a cyclist that you know, there's a number of motivations. You're thinking, oh, I want to do some exercise. I want to, you know, feel healthy. But there's the other side, which is just the, the sheer experience of exploring places and, you know, those memories. And that's not necessarily about well-being in terms of your fitness. So as much as you can sit indoors and do circuits or get your miles in on the turbo, you can't feed the soul in the same way unless you actually get out and ride. I live in Edinburgh, in Scotland, and within miles of a city of half a million people, you've got proper wilderness, you've got the Pentlands, you've got the hills, you've got this incredible landscape, even within a short distance of the capital of Scotland. And 
the idea of trying to do a circumference of the city in the middle of winter was trying to give a purpose to the journey. You've quite often got to give a narrative to that journey rather than just sort of thinking, I'm going on a bike ride. I like the idea of sometimes thinking, well, a journey for a reason. It's not just because, you know, I want to I want to push myself on the bike, but also like I'm going to I'm going to almost collect something on the way. You know, it could be landmarks, it could be getting between certain hills or, you know, it could be in the city, it could be, you know, churches or murals. That idea of going out and creating a, a journey with a reason by giving it some sort of a a, a storyline is something I've always I've always really enjoyed and um, Again, it's almost, it's almost making a, having fun with that concept of a bike ride, not just thinking I'm going out to get fit or I'm going out to, to terrain, but I'm going out because I've then got that interaction between, you know, the people I, I meet on the way or, or, you know, trying to explore places which are quite close to home, but you're joining them up. And that's when the best adventures happen. When you ride somewhere in perfect conditions, define that as, you know, the summer and the sun is shining, um, it's a totally different thing than the grit, the resolve that it takes to then go there in the depth of winter. <laughs> 